Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Kenda Tuber. Today I am focusing on one of the key questions that uh, number of my subscribers are asking me that uh, what is the relevant, uh, relevant structure of the CV or resume in Canada to look for the jobs. Uh, I have done a thorough research on the uh, structure that it should be relevant to what the ATS that the application tracking system also use in Canada. Uh, the recruiter use and to shortlist the uh, candidates and therefore I have prepared the structure after glancing number of CVs and resume. Before I begin on the structure, I request everyone to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Let me know in case of any help required and let's begin on the structure of uh, resume. So let's begin on the structure of resume. I have divided the structure into this uh, about one fourth of the part into the uh, for related to the uh, application tracking system because herein I'll use the keywords, I'll use my skills, I'll use the industry knowledge, I'll use the education achievements and so and so forth. Uh, on the right hand side which covers about three fourths of uh, the space of the resume will come down to profile summary, key highlights and role, roles and responsibilities. So let's begin on the left structure. This uh, is the name. Name your basic roles and responsibility in the sense that uh, were you related to data analytics or you were you related to sales and marketing, marketing intelligence. So add the basic headers to your uh, profile. Apart from that, uh, the email address, phone number and make sure it is the Canadian phone number only. Then where are you based out of like Toronto, Ontario, Canada, your LinkedIn profile. First is the industry knowledge to share it with the recruiter that I have or you have the industry knowledge of uh, automotive, technology, media, uh, any other industries that you are into or you have the knowledge of that particular industry just add those industries here i'm not focusing on uh, the uh, academics as of now academics i'm, I'm putting it uh, later on uh, however uh, i'm uh, this this structure is basically for the professionals or uh, those who are experienced professionals and if you are a newcomer or new uh, having an experience of less than about like two years then make sure your uh, education is included first and then your professional journey in or industry knowledge or technical skills comes in then is the technical skills technical skills you have to categorize into a uh, number of things right so there is an ms office I assume there is an ms office there is a data query programming language statistical tool project management tools so try to categorize into uh, two, three major heads and with these heads add on the skills that you have. Why that is important is because it helps you to add more relevant keywords as well as the specific skills that you have. And that will help you shortlist uh, in the first criteria wherein the recruiter shortlist you through the, pla through the ATA system or wherein recruiter themselves scan on the CV and then check it. So make sure you have uh, uh, the categorization in the technical skills. After technical skills with the competencies. Competencies are very important and make sure you have an elaborative competencies and just find out uh, what all things that you did in your previous organizations, uh, key responsibilities that you had, what all skills that you gained. Assume that you were into uh, sales and marketing. So maybe marketing analysis, marketing analytics, sales analytics, market intelligence. So these all keywords you have to use. And if you don't use these keywords, there are likely chances that uh, the ATS will give a lower score on your profile. Therefore, you will not be able to short, you will not be shortlisted on that particular platform. So make sure on the competencies you check like three, four uh, job descriptions. And if you find that uh, these descriptions are relevant to your profile, make sure you add those uh, in the competencies. Then is the education. Education add uh, uh, the master's or the diploma course or uh, graduation course. Uh, but make sure that you add the country as well and the year when you passed. That is very important to make, to just help the recruiter check our total work experience after our education or any education gap is there or not. Notable achievement. Just think about it that you, you wrote a statement that you helped a technology firm 
to boost their marketing marketing initiatives uh this is one statement right so other statement that i suggest you to write is you helped a technology firm to boost their marketing uh initiatives give with this project the project that you did you helped client achieve about 30% efficiencies in terms of quick delivery of insights as well as uh 40% of the cost efficiencies in the sense that earlier they invested 100k to get to get that particular insights now they are they are just spending about like 6 uh, 60k to get the same uh, amount of insights and that too in a faster pace so just add when you add a qualitative insights or do add a quantitative insights to the qualitative aspects to give you a boost on the structure right so here in the notable notable achievements are different notable achievements i have just provided to make sure that we have the numbers written like achieved a revenue, revenue growth of more than 100% in a span of one year in the year 2019 2020 whatever years that you foresee achieved performance score or, or customer satisfaction score uh, so you can have n number of achievements Uh, down your professional career so make sure you add those numbers as well here so we have covered the 1/4 of the section now the important part comes in of the profile summary profile summary is a basic basic in the sense that uh, I, we can say that you are a, a seasoned professional with x years of experience you worked as a data analyst uh, a data analyst in the in division intelligence division of xyz a renowned technology company assume as you men accenture is there so a renowned technology company which is accenture help the fortune 500 healthcare technology professional services across the firm across the globe so this is quite similar to the industry knowledge that i was talking about uh, to make sure that we give them a concrete insights that we are not even though we are outside of canada but then also we are we are we have worked with some of the key players across the globe and therefore we have we are capable to be recruited in uh, the canadian firms now is the key highlights i would say so here in when the professional narrative comes in you have the roles and responsibilities under every uh, position How, however compared to this i would say key highlights is much important as compared to your roles and responsibilities why is, why it is so see recruiter you recruiters only get about like 10 seconds 15 seconds 20 seconds or a minute whatever that amount is they don't have much time to glance they have a lot of uh, resumes that are pushed on their platforms so therefore it is very important to include all the important parameters that you wanted to highlight in terms of the skills that you have in terms of any achievement that you gained in terms of uh different areas that you worked on see for example skilled in bringing the business intelligence in various sectors including technology others conducting in depth analysis uh by conducting in depth analysis and there may be n number of things right and proficient in conducting qualitative as well as the quantitative uh, uh, quantitative analysis uh Com- competent in using online databases business databases such as xyz skilled in using ms office in- you can also include your certifications if you have the certifications you can include that and in- with that you can also provide the year where you when you achieve that worked on dig- data visualization tools such as the abc or power bi tableau data querying or programming language such as xyz pro- project management abc statistical tools so there are a number of parameters that you can add now is the professional narrative i would say like when the hr would see hr would primarily see the profile summary as well as the key ins- highlights so therefore try to be comprehensive on on these structures uh, on the profile summary you can add a comprehensive 3 4 lines uh, or like a max about like 5 6 lines uh key highlight should should include at least 8 9 10 points to give a boost to your profile that okay this is the competent candidate professional narrative is here in the company name then the location that you have worked on then is the duration that you have worked on in in one company you can have two or three or n number of designations as well 
so just try to add those insights as well that you were a manager like in jan 2021 onwards business analyst from jan 2020 to december 2020 what were your roles and responsibilities then is the key projects that you have worked on in the project you can add scope you can add details you can add the achievements in the projects that you help client to achieve 30% cost efficiencies you help client achieve a cost reduction in their total uh, budgets uh, project 1 2 3 whatever that you think if these are important you have given your concrete uh, insights on that or you you were the key player at those projects then is the next designation from where to where project scope and details again then is the company to same location then is the position that you had and the timeline company 3 location position that you had and the timeline then is the roles and responsibilities uh, it is very important to add a comprehensive roles and responsibilities here too because that will give you two two aspects one is you will be able to highlight your skills right and the other is you will be able to highlight that you you did not just work on a basic skills but you also achieved the efficiencies you achieved the quantitative skills that i was talking about earlier that it's not a simple work but it's a complex work that you worked on so make sure you add all these things to give you a boost on your profile and uh, let me know in case of any help required do subscribe to my channel for more videos uh all the best everyone